Hi, welcome to Amster. Today I'll be viewing this TrekPower portable battery bank. This is a multi-function portable battery. Let's first take a look at the accessories I came with. We got a hard shell carrying case. Wrist loop right over here. Zipper closed. It came with a user manual. Pretty well written. I'll just go over a couple pages of it. It covers the most basic functionality of it. And also all the ports too. And it also goes in detail on how to jump start your battery. Here's the accessories that came with it. We got the clamps to clamp onto a 12 volt battery if you want to jump start it. Now this device over here, this is to help protect against reverse polarity. If you happen to clamp red to black, black to red, in the past it will either set the wire on fire, burn a fuse, but in this case it's protecting your devices or your battery. Here's some do's and don'ts over here. Don't connect a negative and positive together. Here's a little boost to start. Once you press that, you can start jump starting your battery. It came with two USB cables, a micro USB, as well as a USB Type C. I'll go into why I came with the USB Type C soon. And it also came with an accessories adapter. If you have, for example, a 12 volt fridge, you can plug it into this and just have it powered by this battery right over here, DC output. Now for this device right next to here, we have the input, the USB Type-C. I've been using this to charge my Nintendo Switch. I've been traveling lately, and it's come in very handy. And one reason why I'm able to charge my Nintendo Switch, as to on this side, it's got quick charge support. And also standard USB support, so I can still charge my tablets, my smartphone, and my Switch at the same time. So we'll copy on flashlight and here is the jump start connector. This part is very handy because at night I can turn on the flashlight. Oh, it's too bright outside right now. Let's turn this back off. I can turn on the flashlight and still see where I'm plugging in the jumper connect jumper accessories. Nothing else on this side. I'm back over here. It goes over some of the specs as well. Now for trucks, V6, V8. No problem. If I press and hold this for about three seconds, the flashlight comes on, I tap on it. Right now, it's just blinking SOS. Tap on again, it's just blinking. Back to flashlight, press hold for three seconds, turns off. Another useful functionality is that when I'm charging it, press this. While it's charging, this just kicked on. The lights over here remain on. I noticed that when my devices, whether it was my Switch or my smartphone devices, when these are fully charged, the lights over here automatically turn off. That means that there's no more power going through this. It's a smart way to conserve battery. Once the device is fully charged, there's no reason to keep these USB ports hot. The same concept goes for charging it. While it's being charged, the lights will turn on. Once this battery is fully charged, the lights here will also turn off. Now this did not come with an AC adapter, nor a USB car charger. Those are very popular these days, but you still need to provide it yourself. This is the TrekPal multifunction portable battery. If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to contact me. Thanks for watching Walker Hamster. Bye.